As our news team drive through Okakarara, we witness malnourished cattle roaming around in search of grazing. Farmers have started to slaughter the weak ones before they die. The drought have negatively affected us this year. Three cattle have currently died of drought and this one is the fourth. We don't have grass and our cattle are only living from leaves falling from trees. That's the only thing available. If the drought situation continues, it will leave us without any animal in future. We are constantly slaughtering cattle since August this year until now. Farmers are slaughtering cattle because cattle are dying from hunger caused by drought. We are not getting any drought relief food. It's only on our own daily struggle with a bit of pension grants which hardly assist anything because you need to divide it among cattle, fodder and basic needs and children, making the situation difficult. Drought is also worsened by stock theft in the area. The executive director in the office of the Prime Minister, Iben Nashandi, details the government's livestock drought relief program that is to be rolled out to all the country's 14 regions. The livestock support is in the form of subsidies, meaning that the first component is the livestock marketing incentive, which is to encourage farmers to sell their animals to the market. And for each large livestock that they sell, government will give them a subsidy of $500. That is just an incentive for them to sell. So for each animal that they sell, there's $500 that they can claim from government. Small stock were less affected and Ashandi urges farmers to sell these to government if they need to. Farmers with better grazing areas can lease grazing to those affected by the drought and government will subsidize half of the payment. Affected farmers willing to transport their cattle to better grazing areas can pay for transport and government will subsidize up to $19 per kilometer, the ED said.